What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Godexal, and today we're going to be showing you how to set up a domain name with Cloudflare. Cloudflare is that extra level of security that you need. Basically, if your website keeps getting hit offline with a DDoS or a DDoS attack, this is where Cloudflare comes through. So basically, um, in this metaphor, if you own a club, uh, and the cloud flare is that bouncer and someone like me wants to come in the bouncer is going to be like yeah no uh go away and that's what cloud flares basically is is that extra level of protection that will um, filter out from authentic visitors versus malicious uh visitors that are being commanded by this other person that's setting in the traffic of attack okay that that that's another video for another discussion we're going to be talking about how to protect yourself so before we begin, if you guys can do me one big favor is to hit that big red button, that sub subscribe, post notifications. Every time that I upload a video or a live stream, you'll be notified. If you guys want to come through on Mixer.com slash Codexual or even Twitch.tv slash Codexual, I would thank you a whole lot. Preferably Mixer.com slash Codexual. All right. So if you're on uh, GoDaddy, then you can follow these steps flawlessly. Um, if you're on another hosting provider, links will be in the description with all your registrars, um, and they'll give you a step-by-step uh, -step tutorial of how to set up a name server, which is completely easy to do. So we're going to be using one of my domain names, which will be codexual.info. And basically what it will be doing is it's going to be copying and pasting the name records. Then we can modify the name records on the Cloudflare. So add a site. So it's going to be codexual.info. And we're going to go ahead and add site. And we're going to hit next because it's basically this this is saying is we're copying and pasting the information that is publicly shown here and we're going to paste it into our system. That's what it's saying. Then it's asking you what plan you want to choose the for free one. Uh, I've been using free for a very long while and it's awesome. It's great. If you want to go after all these extra uh, features, then go for it. Um, but uh, I use the free version and it's been helping me out from uh, DOS attacks or DDoS attacks. Uh, Confirm. Now it basically copied and pasted the information of what it what it could grab of. Normally, normally it should have grabbed everything what it needed. So, or maybe this is the IP addresses that it just uh, pinged out to be. Anyways, um, this is where you want to set up your stuff. So, go ahead and close out of these things, all this extra stuff. Unless if you unless the settings you don't um, unless the settings that you want there then leave it there. So for me, I just want to start out new, and what I want to start pointing a uh, all my traffic towards the web server. So you're gonna choose the A record, then you're gonna give yourself that name, which is gonna be the domain name. Not info. Then the IPv4 address of that server. Now, if uh, again, if it's a home server and you port forward and whatnot, go to ipchecking.com and just paste that in. Um, whatever your dedicated server is or that VPS um, IP address is, just go ahead and pop that through. So we're going to use this IPS for an example of where I want to direct my traffic towards that web server. And we're going to go ahead and add that record in. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and hit, hit continue. Um, if you also have uh, any mail servers, uh, mail exchange servers, it'll show the, where's the MX records? Oh, right there. So it, it has everything of what the your domain name registrars has, and you can import it from here. So we're going to go ahead, uh, hit continue. And this is where it's giving us the name server. And this is, this, this is very simple to do. So we're going to go ahead and copy the first, uh, name server or the NS server or the NS name. There, there's like so many names to go around. It's just called name server. Go to our domain name, go to, uh, the name server down here. We're going to change this, uh, custom. And now we're going to put in the name server here. And bring in the name server here. If there's more than two, uh, you can always add more, but uh, there's two, which to follow with any other name servers. Um, there, there's always gonna be two by default. So 
Now that's added in, you go ahead and hit continue. And it can take up to 24 hours for everything to come through, so be patient. And this is where you can check in and uh, it says, okay, you know, it's not ready. Please come back in a few hours. So um, let me talk about your firewall, okay? So the first thing I would like for you to do, especially if you're under attack, go to security level and we're gonna adjust your website security and um, we're gonna change this to I am under attack. Basically, um, what this will do, is there a save button? No, it's automatically saved as soon as you uh, click that option. So basically what this does is if you ever visit a website, which we're gonna go to my website, it shows checking your browser before accessing nolock.com. So what that pops up, it's checking the, the the visitor, right? It's going through this self check and there's there's codes within that as like, okay, you know what? Is this user um, malicious or is this user um, real legitimate and trying to access the website? So that's where that filter comes into play. And this is where it helps to uh, to stop sin flood attacks. So that's where that comes into play, especially if someone were to do a uh, quote, a slow loris attack, um, a sin flood attack, that's where it comes into play. So uh, definitely have that I'm under attack and just keep that on. Just, just leave it how it is and it'll forever be like that. Then you're good. Um, then you can go to your DNS and if you ever need to make modifications towards your records, right here will come into play where you can just change anything. And that's basically it. It's just that simple. Um, give it up to 24 hours, then check back on it, then go to your domain name and feel free to go through. And if that self checkout or self checkout, that um, that filter comes through is like checking your browser now, then you successfully did everything correctly. It's that simple to do. Um, if you like this video, uh, definitely hit me up with a thumbs up, hit that sub button, I would really appreciate that. Come through on my live streams. If you have any technical questions, that's that's basically what I'm here for. I play video games and I, I answer technical questions. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video and you all take care. Peace out. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.